So, let's start. Number 10, black holes, the ultimate cosmic traps. Black holes are the universe's version of a monster hiding under your bed, except this one can swallow entire star systems without even burping. They're born when giant stars collapse under their own weight, creating a singularity, a point of infinite density. That's like cramming Mount Everest into the size of a pinhead. And the gravity? So powerful that not even light can escape. That's why they're invisible like cosmic ninjas waiting in the dark. Now, if you ever got close to one, you wouldn't just fall in. No, the black hole wants to play with its food. You'd experience something called spaghettification, where gravity pulls harder on your feet than your head, stretching you out like cosmic taffy. Astronomers gave it a funny name, but trust me, it's not the kind of pasta you want to be. But the real nightmare fuel is that black holes don't just sit there. They move. Some are wandering through space like invisible predators silently drifting until something like a star or an unlucky planet like ours wanders too close, and they don't just eat quietly either. When a black hole consumes matter, it can blast out jets of radiation so bright they outshine entire galaxies. Imagine something that can swallow light and vomit it back out ten times stronger. And here's the kicker. We don't actually know how many are out there. There could be millions roaming unseen lurking in the dark. Right now, a rogue black hole could be headed straight for us and we wouldn't notice until the sky bent like a funhouse mirror. Number 9. Rogue planets, homeless worlds in the dark. Planets are supposed to behave. They're supposed to orbit a nice warm star, spin politely, and let life evolve in peace. But rogue planets? They don't care about rules. These are worlds that got kicked out of their solar systems, flung into the cosmic void. Now they drift alone through eternal darkness, starless and frozen like interstellar ghosts. Astronomers estimate there could be more rogue planets than stars in our galaxy. Let that sink in. There might be billions of Earth-sized planets wandering the dark, invisible, unpredictable, and totally untrackable. They don't give off light, so unless one passes in front of something brighter, they're practically impossible to see. Meaning one could be drifting toward us right now, and we wouldn't even know until it arrived at our doorstep like a cosmic wrecking ball. And here's the horror movie twist. Some rogue planets could still harbor life. Sure, the surface would be frozen solid, but deep underground, volcanic activity could heat subterranean oceans, keeping them liquid. That means there could be entire ecosystems of alien creatures living in pitch black oceans beneath the surface of a planet that's been drifting alone for billions of years, no sunlight, no stars, just endless darkness and things adapted to live in it. So when you picture aliens, don't just imagine little green men under a bright sun. Picture creatures evolving in caves of eternal night, swimming in black oceans, never knowing the warmth of a star. And billions of those haunted worlds could be out there right now, drifting silently. The universe is basically littered with cosmic horror stories waiting to bump into us. Number 8. Gamma Ray Bursts. The Universe's Sniper Shots. If black holes are the slow burn of space horror, gamma ray bursts are the jump scare. These are the brightest explosions in the universe, so bright they make supernovas look like birthday candles. A single gamma ray burst can unleash more energy in a few seconds than our sun will release in its entire 10 billion year lifespan. And if one ever aimed at Earth, game over. No warning, no survival, just a fried atmosphere and mass extinction. Here's how they happen. When a giant star collapses or two neutron stars smash together, they release massive jets of radiation. But unlike normal explosions, gamma ray bursts are directional. They don't just go boom in every direction, they fire deadly beams like sniper rifles shooting across the galaxy at nearly the speed of light. And if Earth ever happens to be in the line of fire, well, that's it. Our ozone layer would vaporize, the sky would turn toxic, and within days, life as we know it would be toast. The worst part? We'd never see it coming. One second, you're sipping coffee, the next, humanity is gone, deleted by a cosmic death beam from halfway across the universe. 
Some scientists even think a gamma ray burst might have caused one of Earth's ancient mass extinctions, wiping out life long before humans were around to worry about it. So yeah, space doesn't just hide monsters. Sometimes it has a sniper rifle pointed directly at your head, and you'll never even know until it pulls the trigger. Number 7. Neutron Stars when massive stars die, sometimes they don't collapse into black holes. Instead, they become neutron stars, and these are arguably just as terrifying. Imagine an entire sun's worth of mass packed into a sphere about the size of Manhattan. A teaspoon of neutron star material would weigh about a billion tons. Drop that on Earth, and well, there wouldn't be an Earth anymore. These stars also spin ridiculously fast, sometimes hundreds of times per second, and as they spin, they shoot out beams of deadly radiation like cosmic lighthouses, step into one of those beams, and your planet gets sterilized instantly. Some neutron stars called magnetars have magnetic fields trillions of times stronger than Earth's. If you got within 1,000 kilometers of one, the magnetic forces would literally rip the electrons out of your atoms. Translation, you disintegrate before you even touch the surface. And here's the kicker, when two neutron stars crash into each other, they don't just explode, they create gravitational waves, rippling space-time itself. The last time scientists detected one of these collisions, it also produced heavy elements such as gold and platinum. So yes, the jewelry you're wearing, probably forged in one of the most violent events in the universe. Space horror and bling all in one package, neutron stars prove that Size doesn't matter when it comes to terror. They're small, but they pack more death and destruction than almost anything else in existence. Basically, they're cosmic grenades waiting to go off. Number six, the Bota's Void, a hole in the universe. If black holes are terrifying because they're invisible, the Buddha's Void is terrifying because it's too visible. It's an enormous region of space about 330 million light years across with almost nothing in it. Astronomers call it the Great Nothing, which sounds like something out of a horror novel. To put it in perspective, if the Milky Way sat at the center of the Bota's Void, we wouldn't have discovered other galaxies until modern telescopes were invented. That's how empty it is. Looking into it is like staring into cosmic static, as if the universe itself glitched and left a blank space. Scientists think the void was formed naturally as galaxies clustered elsewhere, leaving behind a cosmic desert. But of course, there are creepier theories. Some speculate that advanced civilizations might have cleaned out the void for reasons we can't understand. Others suggest it could be a sign of physics we don't yet comprehend, like a giant scar in the structure of the cosmos. Standing on Earth, we're used to a sky filled with stars. Imagine instead looking up and seeing nothing. No twinkling lights, no galaxies, no comfort of knowing the universe is full of neighbors. Just darkness stretching on forever. The Boda's Void is proof that sometimes the scariest thing isn't what's hiding in the dark, it's the dark itself. Number five. Alien megastructures, the galaxy's haunted houses. Back in 2015, astronomers noticed something bizarre. A star called Tabby's Star, KIC 8462852, was dimming in a way no star should. Not like a little twinkle, not like a planet passing in front of it. The light was dipping by up to 22%. For comparison, if Jupiter passed in front of our sun, it would only block about 1%. Something enormous was blocking the star, and we didn't know what. Naturally, the internet lost its mind. One theory was that an alien civilization had built a Dyson Sphere, a gigantic structure wrapping around a star to harvest its energy. Think about that. Aliens building a machine the size of a solar system. Scientists have since suggested it might just be a giant swarm of dust or comets, but here's the creepy part. Dust doesn't explain everything, and even if it's not aliens, the idea of mega structures floating out there, half finished, abandoned, or active, is enough to give anyone cosmic chills, because what kind of civilization needs that much power and what happened to them if their projects are just drifting? The horror here isn't just about aliens existing, it's about them being so far beyond us that their leftover scraps could outshine entire galaxies. Picture walking through an abandoned skyscraper and realizing it was built by something a thousand times your size. That's the vibe of alien megastructures, reminders that if the universe has neighbors, they're not just ahead of us, they're in another league entirely. Number four, killer comets and asteroids. Earth's serial killers. 
Here's the thing about space, it doesn't need exotic monsters to kill us. Sometimes a good old fashioned rock will do the job, and the universe has plenty. Millions of comets and asteroids are drifting through the solar system. Some as small as pebbles, others big enough to ruin your whole civilization. Case in point, about 66 million years ago, one of them ended the reign of the dinosaurs. A rock only 10 kilometers wide smacked into Earth and caused global chaos. Fires raged, tsunamis swallowed coastlines, the sky went dark with dust for years, plants died, animals starved, and the dinosaurs, the ultimate Earth bosses, got deleted in one bad afternoon. Now here's the kicker. Scientists estimate that potentially hazardous asteroids still cross our orbit all the time. We track many of them, but not all of them. In fact, some sneak by without us even noticing until they're already gone. In 2019, a city killer asteroid about 100 meters wide zipped past Earth at only a quarter of the distance to the moon. We spotted it two days after it passed. If that had hit, entire cities could have been wiped off the map. And comets? Even scarier. They move faster, come from deeper space, and we usually get even less warning. Imagine a giant icy bullet hurtling toward Earth at 70,000 kilometers per hour, and we don't even know it's coming until it lights up the sky. And so yeah, dinosaurs had bad luck. But the universe doesn't play favorites. Our reset button is still out there, circling patiently. Number three, dark matter and dark energy, the invisible monsters. If you think the scariest things in space are the ones we can see, think again, about 95% of the universe is invisible. Scientists call it dark matter and dark energy. We don't know what they are, but we know they exist because we can see their effects. Dark matter is like an invisible skeleton holding galaxies together. Without it, the stars would just fly apart like confetti. We can't touch it, see it, or interact with it, but it's literally shaping the universe around us. Imagine walking through a haunted house and realizing that invisible hands are holding up the walls. Creepy, right? Then there's dark energy, which is even weirder. It's the mysterious force making the universe expand faster and faster. Like someone stepping on the gas pedal of reality. No one knows what it is or why it exists. For all we know, it could one day tear the universe apart in something called the Big Rip, where galaxies, stars, planets, and even atoms get pulled apart into nothingness. What's scarier than monsters you can't see? Monsters that make up everything. Space horror isn't just about black holes and comets, it's the realization that 95% of reality is a mysterious substance that we don't understand, but that controls literally everything. We're basically ants trying to guess how electricity works. Number two, time warps and relativity nightmares. If space is scary, time in space is downright freaky. Einstein's relativity taught us that time isn't fixed. It bends and stretches depending on gravity and speed, which means in certain places in the universe, time can get seriously messed up. Take black holes again. Near their edges, the event horizon time slows down compared to the outside universe. If you hovered near one, ignoring the whole being spaghettified thing, a few hours for you might equal thousands or even millions of years out here. You could leave Earth, take a short trip near a black hole, and come back to find civilization gone, languages extinct, and cockroaches running the place. But it's not just black holes. Even traveling at near light speed messes with time. Astronauts on the International Space Station technically age a tiny bit slower than we do on Earth. Not by much, just a few milliseconds, but it proves the point. Time isn't stable. It's relative. Now, imagine alien civilizations that cracked faster than light travel. Their sense of time might be completely different. They could Visit Earth, leave, and come back five minutes later only to find 10,000 years have passed here. That's cosmic horror at its finest. Number one, solar flares and cosmic radiation storms. The sun looks nice and warm from Earth, but don't let it fool you. Our star is basically a giant nuclear reactor that occasionally loses its temper. Sometimes it spits out solar flare bursts of radiation so powerful they can fry satellites, knock out power grids, and bathe astronauts in deadly doses of radiation. The scariest part? We've already had close calls. In 1859, the Carrington event sent massive solar flares slamming into Earth. 
Telegraph lines sparked, operators were electrocuted, and the night sky lit up with auroras so bright people could read newspapers by them. If the same thing happened today, it could cripple the internet, shut down global communications, and cause trillions in damage. We're talking about society hitting the reset button, not because of aliens or asteroids, but because the sun sneezed. And beyond our solar system, radiation storms are even nastier. Out in deep space, cosmic rays zip around at nearly the speed of light. These particles can pass through flesh, bone, and even spacecraft shielding. Long-term exposure could shred DNA, cause cancer, or even fry the nervous system. Basically, space wants to microwave you alive. Radiation is invisible, unstoppable, and everywhere. The only reason we're safe is Earth's magnetic field, which acts like a cosmic umbrella. Step outside that protection, say, on a long trip to Mars, and suddenly the universe feels a lot less welcoming. So, next time you're lying in the sun enjoying its warmth, just remember that glowing ball in the sky could decide to fry our entire civilization at any moment. Comforting, isn't it? Thank you for watching and sticking till the end. We've got plenty more videos coming in the future. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them. See you in the next one.